हेलो कोडर्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर सीरीज ऑन मटेरियल डिजाइन थ्रीज विद जेट पैक कम्पोज टूडे वी आर डाइविंग इन टू एन एसेंशियल पार्ट ऑफ मैनी एंड्रॉइड एप्स द नेविगेशन ड्रॉर द नेविगेशन ड्रॉर इज अ स्लाइड आउट मेन्यू दैट अलाउस यूजर टू नेविगेट बिटवीन डिफरेंट सेक्शन ऑफ एन एप्लीकेशन इट इज टिपिकली यूज इन कंजक्शन विद अ टॉप एप बार where it can be opened by tapping a navigation icon when not in use the navigation drawer is hidden off screen providing a cluster free interface for your users so let's go ahead and jump into our android studio so here first let's create a new file so we have this composable function model navigation drawer which comes with material 3 library here we need to provide this drawer content and within these parentheses we need to provide the rest of the screen content so first let's provide this drawer content so here we have this model drawer sheet so in this sheet we can provide our drawer content so here first let's use a box for our header so here i have used this box layout in this box layout i have used this text composable function with this header text so after this box layout i will use drawer items so for that here first let's create a data class so every drawer item should have an icon a label and this secondary label so let's create a list of drawer item here so here i have created this list of four drawer items so what i will do after this box so let's use this items list and for each item i will use this navigation drawer item so this composable functions comes with the material 3 library so let's first put these arguments on separate line and for this selected state whether the item is selected or not let's create a state here so this is giving error so let's import some value this one and let's also minimize these imports and here what i am doing i am using this list of items at zero index so the first item of this list will be selected initially so here what we will do we will say i if item is equal to selected item then this will be selected and here on this on click we will update our selected item to that item and here we need to change this to where so let's import this value also now let's provide the content of this rest of this screen through this parenthesis 
so here after this let's create one more composable function with the name content So for the content, I have taken this column layout and this column layout will take the maximum size of the phone's screen and here in this column layout, I have used this text and spacer and this button. So this buttons on click we will use through the parameters. And let's attach this on click. Now we can use our content in our navigation drawer and also let's remove these parentheses and and in this content let's use our content so here on click functionality we will provide through these. So now we will see how this navigation drawer will open and close first why this is giving error. Here we need to remove this comma and now it won't give error anymore. So for opening and closing this navigation drawer we need to create a state. So here let's create a drawer state. And the initial value will be closed. So let's attach this drawer state here through this parameter called drawer state. So when we click on this button, so this navigation drawer should open. So let's call our drawer state and let's call this open function. But here we can see this is giving error because this is a suspend function. So we need to create a coroutine scope and in that scope we can only use this open function. So here let's create a scope. So let's call this and how this navigation drawer will close. So when we click on this navigation drawer item, any of this item, so it should close. So let's copy this part and paste it here. And instead of this open function, let's use this close function. So now we can use our navigation drawer function in our main activity and run our app. So in our button there is some text missing. So let's go back to our file and change this to open. So now when we click on this button, so here we can see this navigation drawer has opened and we can see the content of our navigation drawer. So let's click on this message drawer item. So here we can see this has disappeared. We also have this gesture functionality when we swipe like this. So here we can see this has opened when we swipe back to that left side. So it will go away. So in this drawer item, we can see we only have provided this label. So let's provide other things also like icon. So here I have used this icon and this badge and this padding through these default values. So let's run it again and see. So let's open again. So here we can see navigation drawer items are looking pretty good. And one more thing we can do in this navigation drawer. We have this parameter called gesture enabled so by default the value is true 
so when we provide value this false what it will do it will totally disable the gestures so we cannot open and close this navigation drawer through the swipe so let's see this functionality also so when we swipe then we can see nothing is happening but when we click on this button so it will open now it will not disappear if i swipe so let's click on any of this item so it has disappeared like this but disabling this gesture it totally is not make any sense so what we can do we can use something like drawer state dot is open if this navigation drawer is open then we can only provide that swipe functionality so let's see this one also so here we can see when we swipe from the left it will not open but when we click on this button so it has open now that swipe functionality will work because right now this is in a opening state so let's swipe right to left so it has disappeared so this is one of the way we can use this gesture enabled functionality so let's minimize this so right now we are using this simple content of this screen but generally what happens we use a scaffold instead of this simple content so so here let's create one more composable function where we will use the scaffold so here i have used this scaffold and in this scaffold i have provided this simple top app bar so here in this top app bar we have this navigation icon and this title so we will provide this on click functionality through the parameter and let's attach this to this on click and the content of this scaffold will be the lazy column of these list items so let's use our content instead of this so here let's say content 2 and instead of this on click let's use menu icon click so now let's run our app and see this change so here we can see we have this scaffold and this lazy column of these list items so when we click on this menu icon so we can see our navigation drawer has open so let's swipe from the right side to left so it will disappear so let's minimize this and here when we click on this control b so here we have this documentation of navigation drawer so you can read more about this nav navigation drawer from here so that's it for this video on the navigation drawer with material design 3 and jetpack compose we have covered how to create a basic navigation drawer and how to customize it to suit your applications need if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below See you in the next one.